Not long ago, speaking in a hushed whisper, the Russian people discussed secret symbolic meaning of the broken cast iron rose at the bottom of Stalin's wife's grave. An air of mystery surrounded the life and the death of the woman. Times have changed, but some of the documents of the past are lost forever, and the other ones only seem to contradict one another. The shattered life of Stalin's wife, Nadezhda Alilway, still remains filled with mystery. Stalin and Nadezhda's family life started in 1918. Nadezhda was 16 years old. Stalin had turned 40. Nadezhda had lived with Stalin for 14 years. Over these 14 years, Nadezhda watched as Stalin transformed from the ordinary revolutionary into the unlimited dictator, semi-god, whose portraits replaced icons in the corners of peasants' huts. He was a very charismatic man. Women liked him very much. He liked to have affairs, and he had them everywhere he went, everywhere. Well, I should tell. It's a dirty lie. It's a sham. The fact is that Stalin cheated on his wife whenever he could. Stalin loved Nadezhda very much. He tormented her all the time, all the time. She was in love with him, and he loved her too. We were used to her tears as a reaction to all of his rudeness and boorishness. You just mention the name Alleluia, and they all immediately ask, is it true that he killed her? And we are all so tired of hearing this question. We always knew that she killed herself. The whole situation is very unpleasant. She didn't shoot herself. She was shot. When you add up the number of people around Stalin directly in his family, there are 22 of them who came to a disastrous end, either by suicide, schizophrenia, murder, by Stalin's hand. The mix of truth, lies, fantasy and reality is very typical of Stalin and his era. Sometimes it is so difficult to sort it all out that it often becomes inseparable. Here is the story of the tragic life of Nadezhda Alilway, wife of Joseph Stalin, a collage of contradicting rumors and legends that amazingly blend into the astounding portrait of this woman and her times.